What's up, y'all? Today we're going to be working on this 2012 Ford F-150. It's a full drive model. has a rear differential that's nine and three quarters. The customer stated that he had an issue where he was getting a howl of noise in the, in the rear. We have a good idea that it's going to be the pinion bearing, but we'll tear it down, show you step by step so you can do it at home and so you know a little bit more about differentials. If you like the video, please subscribe. Yeah, it's video. You ever got to do that lately? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and that's how you get a stuck Ford tire off right there. All right, so we got the tires off now. What we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and take all the uh, brake calipers off. We're going to remove them by removing the bolt and uh, hanging the calipers up. We're also going to take the brake rotors off and uh, any other assembly parts that need to come off to get ready to prepare to get to the axle shafts. It's funny that I mean, our outfit, watching the other I can't do. All right, you have 12 bolts. Take off with a half inch socket. Make sure you get the ABS sensor cap holders off so you can remove the stud. Take note of where the stud bolts were so you can put them back in the same spot here and here I'm gonna go ahead and mark that damn man damn that thing's nasty man show us what some bad pads look like Yeah, it looks like it might be time for some new ones, huh? All right, what we're going to do now is we're going to take off the four drive shaft bolts, and it's a 12 point socket that's going to be needed. What size, man? 12 millimeter. 12 millimeter. Show that fancy tool. This is a <laughs> breaker bar. Bre oh my God. You all right? Oh, that one hurt. Show it again. <laughs> There's your reward. It's a breaker bore for a wrench made by Max Leverage. Tell you one thing, their warranty don't hold up. It's a bent wrench and they don't want to cover it. We don't have that problem with gear wrench, snap-on tools, but for some reason they won't warranty this out. So shout out to them. Motherfucker. And he just was just a simple, what you want to make sure you do before you remove the drive shaft, in which I forgot, is you want to make sure you mark it. A lot of times it's already marked, but just to be sure, we mark it again before taking it off. That way we know exactly where it went.
Show to see one, one take one out. Okay. I'm gonna push that side in. Give it a little hit. You can pull them both out a little bit. It'd probably come all the way. You ready? Yeah. You got it? Yeah. I think we have to get something to hit it. Okay, hang on me. So we're gonna have to pull it out. Let me get our uh, our table over here. Okay, you wanna grab that? Where's your oh, blue? I'm not in the barn, huh? Mm -mm. One of the things you want to make sure you do is lay out all your shims and bearing caps. Make sure that your bearing caps are positioned the exact way that they came out of the axle. So that way it was facing up on the left side. This way it was facing up on the right side. So you just want to keep that to where you don't mix them up because that could uh, change your setup. And I'll show you here. So top right side, top left side. Usually you have a stamp marked on the side of the carrier, or on the side of the axle, and then a stamp on the side of the bearing cap. That will identify which way is up and down and which way it goes on there. So lay your shit out. Oh boy, minor infraction. All right, next thing we wanna go ahead and do is we're gonna hit the races out, the rear bearing race and the front bearing race for the pinions. Also, when you're doing that, you want to be careful. They have some notches cut out in the back so that you could put the punch tool in the notch and hit the race. That way you don't damage the case. All right, so I did the back one. Now I'm going to do the front one. So this one does have the front notches. You know you're getting close when you hear the pitch change. That was a good solid hit. 
another one, getting loose. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you liked the video. We'd greatly appreciate it, and thank you for watching.